For years, the private space industry has been a battlefield of ambitions, billion-dollar rockets, and headline-grabbing achievements. SpaceX set the pace with record-breaking launches and rapid reusability, leaving many companies scrambling to catch up. Blue Origin, despite its deep pockets and high-profile backing, has often struggled to match that momentum. Every test flight, every delay, every success or failure has shaped a very public story about who leads in this space race and who's still trying to find their place. Recently, another player quietly made a move that shook the field in a way few expected. Rocket Lab, a company known for its smaller but highly reliable rockets, executed something that put a spotlight back on the intense competition, and in doing so, raised serious questions about how Blue Origin stacks up. The full implications aren't immediately obvious, but they hint at a shift that could change the perception of the industry. If you want to keep up with every twist in the space race and see how these moves really stack up, hit that subscribe button. You won't want to miss what comes next. Ever since the rise of private space companies, the race to dominate the industry has been intense and unforgiving. SpaceX quickly became the benchmark, achieving feats that seemed almost impossible. Rockets landing themselves, rapid reusability, and a launch cadence that kept the company constantly in the headlines. Every Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy mission pushed the limits of what a private company could do, setting a pace that few could match. While SpaceX raced ahead with orbital and interplanetary ambitions, other companies tried to find their footing, often struggling to keep up with the relentless pressure of timelines, costs, and public expectations. Blue Origin entered the private space race with big promises and even bigger financial backing. Founded in 2000 by Jeff Bezos, the company had the resources to tackle ambitious projects like New Glenn, New Shepard, and the lunar lander program Blue Moon. With a workforce of around 10,000, Blue Origin looked on paper like a serious contender in the orbital launch market. However, progress was slow. New Glenn, the company's flagship orbital rocket, repeatedly faced technical challenges, delays, and schedule slippages. Despite years of development and billions in funding, milestones were often missed, and public perception started to question whether the company could actually deliver at the scale it promised. While Blue Origin struggled with delays and technical hurdles, smaller players quietly began carving out a niche. Rocket Lab, for example, started with modest goals, but built a consistent track record with its Electron rocket. Over the past seven years, Electron has flown more than 60 missions, carrying commercial and government payloads reliably into orbit. That's a performance that already surpasses Blue Origin's New Glenn in consistency. Rocket Lab's success didn't rely on vast resources or celebrity backing. It came from disciplined engineering, efficient operations, and careful incremental growth. By focusing on reliability over spectacle, the company steadily gained credibility with both commercial clients and government agencies. This shift began to challenge the traditional assumptions of private spaceflight. Until recently, the narrative was that bigger companies with bigger budgets would always dominate. Rocket Lab proved that smaller focused teams could move faster, iterate more efficiently, and even outpace giants in certain segments of the market. The company's approach highlighted an important lesson. In spaceflight, execution and consistency can be as powerful as size and funding. By gradually increasing payload capacity and preparing to enter the medium lift market with its Neutron rocket, Rocket Lab positioned itself as a serious contender in an industry previously dominated by well-known heavyweights. Meanwhile, Blue Origin continued to experience setbacks. The company's new Glenn program was plagued by technical problems, from booster avionics issues to repeated launch date slips. What should have been a routine first launch turned into a multi-year delay, creating opportunities for competitors to advance, while Blue Origin struggled to catch up. The contrast couldn't be sharper. A smaller company, with far fewer resources, was now gaining attention for its forward momentum, while Blue Origin remained largely in the shadow of its own ambitions. All of this sets the stage for what's happening now. Rocket Lab's strategic moves from developing Neutron to investing in new launch infrastructure, are more than just incremental progress. 
Every test, every announcement, and every infrastructure investment is carefully designed to strengthen its position in the market and, indirectly, highlight Blue Origin's struggles. In the broader context of the private space race, Rocket Lab is showing that agility, execution, and consistent results can punch far above a company's weight class. And that brings us to the move that just made the industry sit up and take notice. All of this momentum by Rocket Lab reached a new high point just recently. After years of proving themselves with Electron, Rocket Lab is now taking the next step, the Neutron rocket. This medium lift vehicle is bigger than Electron. It is also a full entry into the competitive market for major commercial and national security launches. The debut flight is expected later this year, after only four to five years of development, which is remarkably fast compared to Blue Origin's decade-plus delays with New Glenn. Neutron Rocket is a statement that Rocket Lab is ready to compete with the industry's heavyweights on their own terms. To support Neutron, Rocket Lab just broke ground on a brand new launch complex, Launch Complex 3, at Virginia's Wallops Island. This is a purpose-built site designed specifically for Neutron's first stage testing, launches, and recoveries. Once completed, it will be the largest vehicle ever to lift off from that location. For context, while Neutron is still smaller than SpaceX's Falcon 9, this dedicated infrastructure gives Rocket Lab the ability to operate with a high cadence, efficiently turning around tests and launches without relying on shared facilities. It's a bold move, signaling that Rocket Lab is thinking long-term and preparing to handle multiple missions simultaneously, something Blue Origin has struggled to do with New Glenn. The timing of this development is particularly striking. Blue Origin's new Glenn program continues to face delays and technical hurdles. The second new Glenn launch was recently scrubbed due to a booster avionics issue, adding to a history of repeated schedule slips. For a company that started its new Glenn development more than a decade ago, these delays highlight the contrast with Rocket Lab's rapid progress. While Blue Origin remains in limbo, Rocket Lab is building a launch site, developing a new rocket, and running extensive tests on engines and structures. It's a textbook example of execution outperforming promises. Neutron itself is packed with ambitious innovations. The rocket's first stage is made entirely from advanced carbon composites, making it lighter and more durable than traditional metal rockets. Its fairing, nicknamed Hungry Hippo, is permanently integrated into the first stage, splitting open in orbit to release payloads before closing back up for recovery. This clever design reduces complexity, improves reusability, and speeds up turnaround between flights. The second stage is suspended from above rather than supported from below, cutting mass and increasing efficiency. All of these engineering choices demonstrate that Rocket Lab is scaling up and innovating in ways that rival even the larger players in terms of clever problem solving and operational efficiency. Engine development has also been a key focus. Neutron's Archimedes engines, built entirely in-house, initially started as a seven-engine gas generator design, but evolved into a nine-engine closed cycle system for better efficiency and reliability. The shift to a closed cycle design, a choice normally reserved for larger rockets, shows Rocket Lab's commitment to pushing technical limits without compromising speed or safety. Early prototype tests have already been completed successfully, and full-duration hot fires are planned ahead of the maiden flight. This level of preparation ensures that when Neutron launches, it will be a fully validated system, ready to compete at a level that Blue Origin is still striving toward. The strategic implications are even more striking. Rocket Lab has been selected by the U.S. Space Force for its National Security Space Launch Program, giving Neutron preferential treatment for a range of military missions. This is the first time a smaller company like Rocket Lab is being trusted with contracts that were previously reserved for SpaceX and ULA. In other words, while Blue Origin struggles to certify New Glenn for government missions, Rocket Lab is already moving into that space. The combination of infrastructure, advanced rocket design, engine development, and government backing positions Rocket Lab to outpace Blue Origin in orbital launches for the next few years.